Hello everybody, so in today's video I'm going to show you how to fix Minecraft Java mods not working in 2025 which gives you the error called exit code 1. So let's get started. The first thing you want to do is open up your Minecraft launcher and start the game which gives you the error which in this case has to be a modded version of Minecraft so here we have fabric loader here. It can be forged, it can be anything, it's just mainly to do with loaders. And in this loader here, I have fabric and I have a mod called iris which is used to get shaders. And what happens is, when I'm going to click play, it's not going to start up the game, right? It's going to give me this. It's going to tell me incompatible mods found. And what this is, it's simply that my iris shaders does not have sodium which it requires. Most of the time for you will be Fabric API, but it is exactly the same issue. It's just that you are missing mods even though you have the mod that you want. So what do I mean by this? Well, once I close this, what this simply means is that you need to have another mod which helps make your mod that you want work. So for example, it is Iris and I need Sodium. So for example, what is Sodium? What is Fabric API? What is anything that you are looking for in this error code? Well, it is simply a mod that you have to download and you can download them from various websites but a pretty good one is called modring like so and here we can see we have modrins.com so simply click on modrins and here you should be on the home page for modrins now what we need to fix in our case is iris not having sodium so if we need sodium all we have to do is go to discover content and go to mods and here we will see sodium so all we have to do is simply click on the mod now like i said for most of you guys it will be something with fabric api if you're using like fabric for example but in our case it is sodium so just click on the mod that you need go to versions and select the same game version as your mod that you're currently running on and make sure it is the right platform and if it is just click download and now you can add it to your Minecraft folder the same way you did to add your other mod. So for example, we just go to mods, we go to downloads, we copy our mod that we require, we paste it in and we just go back to the Minecraft launcher, we click play on the fabric installer and it's just gonna run like normal. There won't be any errors because the mod that it needs is indeed present in the Minecraft mods folder. As you can see, Minecraft has loaded up this time and we can now have Iris, which like I said, in this case is mainly for shaders, but you can, of course, you have other mods and stuff. So yeah, it is that easy to fix the error code, exit code one, that easy. There's of course other things with other mods that you might require, you might need more than one mod, but most of the cases it's just this you're just missing a mod that you need to make it work. So I would like to show you one last thing. What this is, it is simply called dependencies. So if I go to Iris shaders, versions, and I go to the fabric one because I have fabric, we see dependencies. So in its core, it is just dependencies. Now you might have this issue even if you check and there's not anything here because sometimes mod developers don't actually add the dependencies that you need and you might have a surprise but in this case just make sure to check dependencies all the time you know to make sure you don't need anything and you should be all good with your ever code so yeah that's how we fix exit code one for minecraft java so if you like this video make sure to like and subscribe and see you for the next one bye